hi guys my name is Jerome welcome back and in the last video we've uh, we've been working on this form right over here let me just switch my uh, video so yeah um, this is the form where when a user types something and then click update and the uh, post is being updated all right we're going to make this notification uh, message better as I promised but for now as uh, yeah we're done with create we're done with read we're done with update all, all what is left is delete all right and that's going to be very very simple so yeah let's head over to our um, index.blade.php it's right over here okay in the blog on the user's end it's just uh, it's the button all right on our end as a programmer um, yeah when, when the user hover over to delete uh, it should route them to a particular page so let's configure that okay so the delete button is right over here and uh, we can say here uh, forward slash delete we can just use a static uh, method uh, URL okay so delete and then we can say uh, post that ID all right it's right over here okay this is to tell the computer what 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 row uh, or what data that the user is being selected so we will pass in the uh, we will we will use the delete URL and then forward slash whatever the ID uh, of the post or uh, this is what I'm talking about uh, let, let me just refresh the page okay so go to blog and then uh, when the user hover over to uh, delete notice here at the bottom okay notice here right over here when we hover over to delete you see it's uh, uh, one to seven dot o dot o dot one colon eight thousand that's my machine forward slash delete forward slash one and we head over to our to the next one should it says two we head over to the next one it says five all right so those are the id of each post so when the user uh, click this notice the url at the top okay it's uh, delete forward slash five and when uh, when we select another one it says delete underscore one so that that's that's what it means by this url over here this part this uh part here is going to be dynamic all right so now that we have done that all we have to do is create a route okay uh we can say route we're gonna be using get and then we can say if the user is in the delete in, in this url with this id all right whatever the id because this one's uh, supposed to be dynamic so whatever the id is in there uh we're gonna be routing the user to what destroy where, di where did we get this uh, destroy uh, it is a method so let's head over here to our uh, list of routes as you can see post forward slash post or this is the id actually this is what we did here all right just type their id but it can be anything all right um and then the path is destroy all right that is why we we select destroy here because we already have destroy in our post controller let's uh, search for destroy and it's right over here all right so destroy is basically the 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 ready-made method it, it was generated when we use the um, hyphen hyphen resource when we are creating the controller so uh, this is what this is the method that we're going to use to delete a data in our database all right so first we already know that we need to capture that and find it in post find whatever is in the id so that it's going to be dynamic and after that we can just say all right uh, post and then delete that's it very simple right yeah in La in, in roy sql you know that's going uh, you, you will have uh, a longer code but uh, in my opinion a uh, longer code it's it's not really uh, something that bothers me but because i still do code i still use roy sql and uh, for me as long as it works um uh it, 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 I mean, if, if it is only have a very few percentage that's affecting the system, that it's not really destructive or it's taking a lot to load. For me, it's, it, it, it's, it's still a workable uh, solution even the code is, is long. But of course, if you can make it shorter, uh, shorter, uh, cleaner, the better. 
So going back, we can just go ahead and return a very simple error. A post has been deleted. Okay. So save your save our work. Let's head over to our uh, website. Click uh, go to blog, and let's delete this uh, this one right here. All right. Let's click delete. All right. Let's before we do that, let's double check. So we have a post controller that's capturing the ID, and we have a route that is using the get uh, method. Uh, and then everything is correct here all right and in our index that blade.php the delete function the delete button is routing to that route yeah it seems to be everything is seems to be correct so let's refresh this page and click uh, tr let's try to delete this one okay click delete and there you have it so uh, let's head over to the home page in the blog page if we still have three posts because it was three so right now it's supposed to be two posts all right and there you have it one got deleted all right let's delete this one at the bottom delete okay post has been deleted let's go back to the home page uh, into the blog page now we only have one post all right um let's try to add because um yeah the division um Okay, one of my favorite game. Submit. Uh, saving data successful. Let's head back over to the blog page. And okay, I, I can click it. All right. So now we have that post. Uh, I just we just did that so that we have two uh, uh, data, two rows that we can work around. All right. So yeah, technically we are done with the tutorial with. Uh, uh, creating, reading, updating, and deleting data. All right, so yeah, that's cool. Congratulations to us. And uh, yeah, but uh, I promised you that we we also have to uh, when we when we do something here, when we uh, for example we delete this, we'll have a better notification. All right, we'll have a better notification message. So let's do that. So uh, actually, we have created here a notify that blade PHP. Okay, and let me just uh, check the documentation here. For we're gonna be using a session, so I'm in Laravel.com in my second screen, and uh, let's check. Yeah, remember this is the Laravel.com. Yeah, everything is in here in Laravel if you want to study uh, this technology. So yeah. Um, we're going to be using a session, so we, we, we have to use the if statement in notify that blade that PHP. And we're going to be if you say if a session session is a success, all right, we're going to be doing that. This, this success, we're going to be doing that in the post controller later. I'm going to show you. We're going to be displaying the bootstrap class, all right, we'll start using bootstrap. So div that if it's a success, it's it's an alert, right? Alert that what type of alert is the success? Just like this one, we this is green because it's success. This one is warning, and this one is danger in Bootstrap. If you if you remember that, so let's go ahead and say and tab. All right, and we're going to echo out the success right over here. Okay, so let's paste this right over here and then echo it. This uh, when you do this do do double curly uh, brackets in Laravel, that means you're um, e uh, typing something like this: echo, and then session, or maybe a variable. Okay, something like that. So instead of doing echo in Laravel, th this is in pure PHP, but in Laravel we do this. All right. So we have success. Uh, we can just copy and paste for. This is when we uh, successfully uh, perform a. A successful operation for example posting or and when deleting we can use the bootstrap class called danger you can check the bootstrap documentation on this all right danger and for updating we can use the info all right info 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 all right this is the background basically the info is kind of uh, uh, light blue 
danger is red, just like he, th this, and the success is green. Um, if we head over to our post, uh, this is what I'm talking about. So index at bladed page. I'm going to change the view to info. He info view. Yeah, it's success right now. I'm going to change to info. Or maybe primary. Primary is blue. Okay, primary. And we do that. Yeah, we have a blue. So basically, that's what it means here in our uh, notify that bladed PHP, and we're using session, and this is going to be one of the parameters in our uh, post controller. All right. All right. So I I'm just checking the documentation here to make sure everything is right. Uh, so we'll have a shorter video, uh, saving us from troubleshooting if there's an error. All right. So yeah. Um, now that we have the notify page, we can include this in our index that blade that page be under posts. So we can put it right over here at the top, I believe. You can see include, and that uh, uh, notify that blade that page be is under ink and then or inc, and then you can say notify. All right, now that it's included. Um, we will just need to update our post controller. Instead of doing this very simple message, we can say return and then view. Uh, not anymore view. We, we have to redirect the page back into the post because um, earlier it's just a white page, right? There was no way for us to go back to the home page. I was just changing the URL. Uh, all right, well, I was just changing the URL first to get back to the home page. So right now we can say redirect and then uh, in, in, in what page? It's in the post page. Remember that this post, it's right over here. It's uh, the root uh, or the index that blade that PHP for our uh, post. It's right over here. Okay. So uh, yeah, we're writing that with with the session in notify that blade that PHP. All right. So we're gonna say what session because this is delete we're gonna say danger all right this is, we are invoking this block of code right over here danger okay D danger basically means red that's it it's it's not a danger that we have to be afraid about it's basically it says uh red and what it means is because we're deleting data and it can be dangerous that's why we have notifications from sometimes in in every system that says um uh, are you sure you want to delete this particular data? Yeah, basically that's what it means in uh, computer science um, in practice. And uh, we can now type this right here. A post has been deleted, deleted, all right? And we can now delete this one. All right, so uh, of course, see my colon at the end. If not, it's not gonna work. Save, save our work. And let's see if the delete uh, notification is working. Let's just refresh the page just to make sure. Let's go to the blog page and then click this delete. All right, we only have one data. So anyway, let's click delete. And there you have it. A post has been deleted there at the top. Okay, maybe let's make it center. I'll head over to our notify that blade at PHP. Um, let's make this text center. It's a boots, bootstrap class again, guys. All right. So, no, but now we don't have we don't have any more data in our form. So let's add one. Okay, let's just type random text. All right. Okay, this one right here. We also need to do this. Uh, saving data successful. All right. Hold on. Let's update our post controller for every activity that we do in our system, All right? Let's just copy this. So for updating, it's right over here. Let's paste, paste this, paste that, uh, re, uh, delete this one. And for update, we can say info. And then a post has been updated. All right, there you go. And we, we need one more. All right, hold on. Uh, this is supposed to be okay, post info. All right, we're good, I believe. Now we need to go to edit, right? No, no, we don't need that. 
edit is just a part of update here store for adding uh, data okay saving data successful let's copy that and put it right over here and we're going to be using success uh, which is basically just a green background uh, that's all what it means in in this system and let's head over to our uh, website and uh, new post and then let's say uh, test and then some random text submit and there you have it if you can see saving data successful with a green background okay much much better than earlier and now it routes us back to the to the uh, post instead of just a white page and we don't need we don't need anymore to manually um, uh, modify the url at the top so let's let's try another one new post and then type some random text i'm trying to make this faster all right now we have a new post saving data successful all right all right just one more new post how about uh, the division uh a nice game okay submit saving data successful this is our content uh the division nice game all right now we can uh, uh see if the delete is working click delete a post has been deleted now we only have three all right now let's delete one more so that we'll have two remaining all right a post has been deleted all right let's update this one right here click edit and let's update this to something else about that one all right and update a post has been updated and now the post right here is uh Z, 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 Z. All right. I'm trying to make this video uh, as short as possible. And yeah, I think that's it for, for the, how about the view? Yeah, I'm being tempted to end this series now, but all right, guys, let's, let's, let's uh, work on the view. All right, uh, make, make, make this video longer. But basically the crowd, we're done with the crowd. We're done with creating, we're done with, we're done with reading, we're done with updating and uh, deleting so what we did right now was just a bonus wherein we uh, 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 make 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 the notification look looks better of course you can do better than that especially if you're spe uh, if you've been working in front end development for for a while now and this video is basically um, a demonstration uh, uh, showing you teaching you the, the functionality uh, uh, basic functionality of manipulating data from the database using Laravel 8 all right, so for the view, uh, one last time, uh, we go to index, and for the view, it's very simple. We can just say, we can just invoke, invoke the, uh, uh, let me just clear this out. Let's double check our PHP artisan route list. Uh, let's see for the show here, here it is. Post, and then, yeah, so we can say post, and then, the ID all right let's copy this it's right over here guys you can copy this this is our reference so you do this all the time PHP route list just to double check everything and then view now we have a route and remember we are using a, a resource for this one so we don't need to add a route here on our on our uh, uh, web.php so okay post everything is correct here now we can go to post controller and then uh, here in our view, we can just return. Hold on. We have to capture the post. All right, find whatever is in the ID. And then we can return the view to where? To post that show. And with, with the post and then post the variable, okay? So yeah, we're, we're, we're good in the post controller. Let's head over to the show.blade.php. It doesn't uh, have anything. So let's copy one of the, let's copy this. Oh, in the pages. All right, let's copy that and paste it right over here. And let's just put the title here. The title should be dynamic. It should, it, it's going to be the post title. And the, let's put here a title. And the class should be the post. What what did I say class? I mean, yeah, 
I mean the content sh in the in the class with the lead class in in bootstrap lead is the class in bootstrap should be the post that content and then maybe here we can back back the post <laughs> all right and let's let's uh, put a reference uh, post how about that okay so so we so we have a button to go back to the post all right and you can say here content yeah I think that's it how about we wrap this in a uh, card a bootstrap uh, class and let's also display the let's have a small tag here I want to display the uh, I want to display the uh, created at date w when the post was been created so we can say created at okay that's 20 minutes running in our time so let's see um, I think it's gonna work alright so let's view this uh, this uh, post right here the division a nice game uh, let's click the view all right uh, you be use the card class uh, that's why it's white all right uh, but yeah it's working all right it's working and uh, uh, we were able to create the uh, the view functionality all you have to do is fix this in uh, custom that CSS or bootstrap to make it to make it look better let's let's let's, uh, let's click back to post all right now let's view this uh, data ZZZ uh, click view and now you have that even and and the date uh, when it was uh, created all right so yeah um, thank you for uh, thank you for tuning in guys um, and I hope you're you're doing fine having a great day and uh, uh, staying safe all the time and um, yeah it's been an honor to share with you uh, what I know in Largo and uh, uh, please uh, Please subscribe and like this video to, to support my channel. It, it's free, all right. It's going to. It, it means a lot to me if somebody uh, like a uh, view uh, or, or subscribe. That means uh, we were uh, we were able to uh, to help uh, someone else, uh, helping helping uh, someone else or uh, another person is is not a terrible idea. All right, so. All right, have a great day and uh, thank you for watching and thank you for watching the entire series. Bye for now.